Hey, my honey. So today we are here with another review or whatever. I was sent some here today by Curls Queen. Y'all know how I feel about my little baggage. <laughs> Actually, they sent me some hair clips. So we have the clips before on this channel. The only difference is that this hair is with a different company and same texture, 4C. I'm a 4C gal, you know, so I had to go with what I know. So this is the hair. It came like all this, wrapped in a circle like that. And that's just how it's going down today. Uh, it's black natural hair, my honeys. So this is Indian, 100% Indian virgin hair. Okay, so. You can curl this hair, you can bleach this hair, you can straighten it, so you can do whatever you want to do with it. The curlier the hair, the more you can kind of manage it. Like you could make it go this way, that way, and it would stay because it's curly. It's so tight curled that it would just stay. You could cut it to a way and it's going to just stay, okay? That straight hair is more flowy. Wind flow, it'll flow out of place, you know what I'm saying? So you have to style that spritz that and do all of that to it just to get it to stay how you want it but this hair is however very kinky curly now my whole thing is this this hair came and it is 14 inches it's supposed to be 14 inches okay but this looks about 8 inches 8 inches I guess even when you when you stretch this hair out, I'm not seeing 14 inches, but okay. Take that into consideration, my honeys, when it comes down to ordering this hair. If that's how it goes, okay. If it says 14 inches, maybe that's when it's straightened out, okay? But if you want to order some 14 inch curls so you could just add it to your little bang and have it long and hang it like that, that's not going to be the case because it doesn't come 14 inches. It's very soft, okay? It's not no shedding and all that extra stuff. I don't care about shedding because at the end of the day, your real hair is shed, so why wouldn't, why wouldn't you expect weave to shed? It is what it is. Now, if you have a um, a weave that's just shedding everywhere and then you all got hair everywhere on you, that's pretty embarrassing. Yeah, I get that. But as far as a little tubes and fuels, I wouldn't care about it. If you have a lace, okay, and your lace is shedding and it's becoming bald and thin, now that's a problem. This lace supposed to last for, what, years? <laughs> so why is it shedding that bad and then three months it's bald head? I get them. So we're going to see what we can do with this Curls Queen hair today, my honeys. Um, I just did the last video of the half up, half down, right? I have the same style in, okay? But I took all the tracks out. This is the bonnets, okay? So, um, I like how it's, you know, it's very stretched. You see how it's printed on my forehead, like... They do not come off when you're sleeping. <laughs> like, I love that. You know what I'm saying? So, I love the design of it. Like I said, my honeys, when you just sit back and have unexpected company or whatever, you can always throw on a little nice bonnet that's nice and cute. Okay, this is kind of giving me some definition. Throw some earrings out. Hey, y'all, I cooked. Like, okay, something like that. But, um, this is the back. <laughs> this is the back. So it's just Kale's hair and beauty or whatever. But listen, I'ma take it off because y'all gotta see my hair anyway, okay? This is what we're working with under this bonnet. But y'all know I never really did let anything boil to me, so I don't care. I don't care. Yo, this is the same little pattern <laughs> from the other day. This is just the little leave out that I had out. 
So what I was thinking to do, my honeys, was bring this leave out up, wrap it around this little pony, snap this pony down, and I got some bobby pins, that's it. Same ones I used to put that uh ponytail, uh that hairband on. That's pretty cool, my honeys, because guess what? This hair will be big, so we could cover up any lump and bump in it. We don't care. The back of my hair is just that braid pattern, so we just gonna clip. I wonder if they made it to where this is the longest clip, and then they got the shortest clip. I think, yeah, these long. You may have some short ones off in there, so all you will have to do is organize it. Or you may have to cut it. Since I've been dealing with these type clips, though, it, it normally always come where you got long ones, then you have short ones, too. Yeah, so in the inside, you have the little short clips, which is only two of them. But the more longer ones, you have four. I think that's the most you will get on the long longest one is four. So I'm just gonna start clipping. With a tighter the curl, like I said, you can make it bigger and finesse it. So we gon' you don't have to put them as close. You can put them as spaced out as need be. I'm just excited to be, you know, back recording, giving you guys some footage. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, so. I was gonna leave one side out and have everything else with some curl. Cause what I really need to do is lay these tracks going up like that so therefore you won't see a track. And then at some point I will probably have to bring something back. I don't know if that's gonna work. Bring something back and spritz and all of that good stuff just to hide that track. So you just snap them or you unsnap them. So that's all it is. And then you just dig it in somewhere. I'm gonna dig it on in. And then I'm gonna push it down and pop, lock, and drop. Now that's kinda cute. I thought it would work because I already had itch. <laughs> I want that little baby here to hang out a little more, but that's... We don't need... The only way we would put it down far is because we want it to hang further in our face. If you put it back, it will make it appear shorter. That's one. Now, we have one that only has one clip to it. So we had two with two clips, and then we had one a piece of the one clip. Now what I'm trying to do is stack it up, my honey, so that it will not show a track. And I don't want to put them so close because I don't know if we have enough, but I don't have to. Because like I said, once you get to breaking them curls apart and doing all that, it's going to be what it be. See, you already can't even tell that it's... <laughs> That's only two clips. <laughs> so I think we can make this work, my honeys. I
ladies, we got them all in. <laughs> that was every last one of them. All we need to do from here is break the curls down and make it a style. So I noticed that over here, I have um, some tracks showing. So that's what I'm hair pins is gonna come in and I only got two now. I only got two hair pins so I will want this one to come around. I'm swooping it around from extra tracks that was on there. Like it, they had access track on the clips that only had one. It had excess uh, track to it if you could see that. Like that's just extra track, but it has hair. So I am just gonna swing it back to cover other tracks. Y'all know y'all gotta emphasize when you're dealing with stuff like that. See, now you can't see a track. So once we get the fluffing on it, you really ain't gonna see you, you don't see a track at all. So this is pretty much the style. And I just bust down that. You take one of them curls, you do not want to go in there combing through it because it's going to make it, you're going to lose that curl pattern and it's just going to make it look like a bush. Snappy nappy dugout. So we just going to go in and finger play with this in the areas that looks thin, okay? You may only have used it for a mohawk. I should have did that, but I didn't have the ba you know, the braid pattern for it or the the molding. My hair wasn't molded for that. So I said, let me let me see how I can do this without even washing the hair out with the other style that I just did yesterday. To be honest, <laughs> I just took it right out because I told y'all I was going out of town. So I'm going in the morning to get me some knotless braids. I've never had them. I want them. My friend, she does real good. She, um, she's gonna, I'm gonna do her a sew in and she's gonna do me some knotless. So that's how we rocking with that. This is my long time friend. And, um, it's okay that we do things that way. I'm just gonna go through all of these honeys and break it on down. I'm looking in this mirror, that's why my eyes is cut. I do this over the areas that needs it. you could keep playing with it and keep you know cutting them loose raggedy ends stuff like that the more I will keep playing in it the bigger it will get okay I just feel like I'm done with it because I'm taking these right back out to it. <laughs> so there's no real point but um what I can say is you know uh, my edge or whatever since I still had it decorated from the last style, I could go back in and um, just kind of get that back together.
your head strip. Leave that on for a couple seconds. Why you letting that do its thing? You could be playing in it some more. Okay, making it poofier, bigger. Rick James. <laughs> That's exactly who I look like. I like this hair though. Like on the short afro we side, like if you just wanted to kind of put it just all up in one and have all your hair slicked and just had the clips in there like hanging and folded like that. This is like for our natural, natural gals who really just don't really even care for weave and glue and sew-ins and all of that. You know, this is easy peasy. Literally, the video is longer than what it actually needed to be because I threw these clips right on in. Over an old style <laughs> that just made it like, boop. <laughs> what old style, okay? You would never know. Let me go this way. That's still kind of wet. <laughs> yeah, but for real, for real, my honeys, we ain't gonna let this bother, <laughs> okay? We gonna have us a, a, a nice little quick something going on. Like I said, you may have some unexpected company. You throw these, think of them clips. Think of them clips, honey, and throw them babies right on in. Now, you can straighten these clips. You can dye them. Make them your own. Okay? Do whatever it is you can need to do with them. But my natural girls, y'all will find so many things to do with these. I know it. Oh, I know it. I know it, know it, know it. Some told me, let me look up a nice natural style, you know. For this, for my natural honeys or whatever. We are natural because I ain't had a permit over like six, seven years. So I'm natural, but I I just don't really be wearing my natural hair. But I got honeys that's wearing that natural hair. So um, with all that being said and done, I like it. It's short. It's supposed to be 14 inches, but it's pretty short. But that's cool. You know, this was definitely good for that summer, for this hot weather. Like, I don't want all that on my neck, honey. But it came through, okay? Spice it up. Spice it on up. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Little bit goes a long way. I like how that one little piece is over here. And everything else is playing accordingly over there. Okay, so this is gonna be it for this video, my honeys. And you guys make sure you go and check out Curls Queens, okay? I will leave everything about them down in the description, okay? They are, I wanna say, very reasonable. They are promoting black natural hair. So, oh my big, big. KJ, y'all is getting so big. And you guys, do not forget to check out my website, kaleshairandbeauty.com, which will also be in the description, okay? Um, I have some nice clips over there that's customized for nothing but Kale's Nation. They will go perfectly with this hairstyle, you know what I'm saying? So, yes, you have the clip ends, and you can have my hair accessories, and boom, you're in there, okay? So... Oh, it's cute. I could fluff it some more and just make it a little bigger. And, but I like it. I really like it just how it is. You know, afros, you have to shape them. You got to really get in there and shape it and play and all of that. Right? Get you some spray. Boom. Give it that shine right there. You could get some oil sheen and just shh over the whole head. Let it, sh let it shine, huh? <laughs> But it's like an afro, okay? And I love a good afro. I can't say that I don't. <laughs> I know I look a mess, my honeys, but at this point in the video, 
I will see my honeys on the next one. Uh, 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 uh. The next one. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you guys.